Hi Pisces, this is Aqua Goddess coming to give you all your general reading. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day today. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, if you'd like to donate to my channel or purchase any of the artwork or manifestation jewelry that I have, the information will be in the description box below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming here. And if you're not new, welcome back. Please make sure that you all like and subscribe to the channel to help our family grow and also to receive your notifications for your future reads. I've already prayed and meditated over your energy, Pisces, so we're just going to go ahead and tap right in. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please protect me while channeling the messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Note. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 10 million fold, and anybody out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. So some of you guys could be born on March 19th, March 6th, March 18th, February the 9th, uh, I'm sorry, February the 22nd is standing out for me. So let's see what's going on with my Pisces. Okay, um, so Pisces, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, or this could be you, please put yourself wherever you may fit, roles may be reversed. But there's an energy of somebody having a side piece. They're allowing access to themselves by this side piece energy here. Um, this person is saying they're an open book, ask me anything, I have nothing to hide. This could be someone that you just met or someone that you're currently dealing with, but they are hiding this side piece um, or they're hiding the fact that they want to make you a side piece. They're not wanting to let you go, so they're wanting to try to allow some type of access. Hmm. Or they're not wanting to let this side piece go, so they're wanting to allow some type of access. You could have met this person in the summertime, or they could have met this side piece energy in the summertime. Definitely, you could work a lot. Hmm. You may have met this person through work, or they could tell you that they're at work when they actually are with a side piece energy. I see that this person feels like you are marriage material, so they definitely don't want to let you go. But they're having a hard time because they don't want to let this side piece, this freedom go here. They're not wanting to let this freedom go. For some of you guys, you could be getting married to a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could also have these aspects in your chart. Or this side piece energy could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. They could work a lot. Um, yeah, this person may work multiple jobs or work and go to school or something. This person could have met them, the side piece energy at their job. Yes, this person is a froster. They don't want to let go, but they're acting single. So it's like this person has some major choices to make. You guys could have planned some type of double date or summer trip that may have been canceled. Hmm. This person seems to stress you out a lot and cause a lot of drama. But they don't want you to be alone or withdrawn or they don't want to let you go.
you're saying that you this person switched up on you and it's because they could have met this work crush this side piece energy that i'm picking up the energy for some of you were born on march the 10th yeah somebody switched up on you because they started messing with somebody at their job or liking or crushing on somebody and then they started allowing access allowing this person to get access to them in some kind of way this person is giving me one foot in one foot out the door energy all the time but if you were to walk away they would chase you hmm Wish I never met you is in reverse. So you feel like this person switched up on you, but it's not like you wish you never met them. It's not like that. It's more of a disappointed, a hurt, a confused, uh, more of like really disappointed that this person is not taking accountability. And definitely if you're really in a relationship or an engagement or something, because I, I pick up marriage energy or an engagement. You're just disappointed that this person is allowing third party access to them and third party interference to the relationship. You're very disappointed that this person is manipulative and that they're a pretender. You really trusted this person at some point. This is someone that you allow access to your heart and then they try to flip it around like you were some type of side piece energy. Yeah. See, I want to keep my options open. But then you have letting go and reverse here. So they're not wanting to let you go, but they still want to keep their options open. Who is this? It's the Aries Leo Sag. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody is very much so afraid, or it could be an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn for some of y'all. But somebody's afraid that you're going to let them go and get your groove back. And that you're going to be out here looking like fire. You hear me? So this person is definitely doing everything that they can to keep you in the loop. But they definitely then got entangled with this side piece energy pretty tough. You feel like you're fighting a never ending battle. So you could be ready to move away. You know, walk away. Whatever the case may be. You feel like it's judgment day. You're super tired of this person taking you through the same things. You're having a reevaluation, a self evaluation. You're having an awakening in regards to this person. Yeah, you're realizing that it's coming to an end and you want something new where you feel like it's going to actually work. Somebody could want to intentionally knock you up. This person may want to because they want to keep they want to keep you in their life. This is someone that you may have met through their sister or they met you through your sister or something like that. Hmm. Seems like the only time they show you attention is when you is when they need something. A lot of you guys feel very manipulated in this particular situation. Angel number 908. Yes, yeah, so you definitely are feeling a sense of over, like you're feeling overwhelmed. Um, and it's because you're you're very intuitive, so you know if this person's hiding something. And if they switched up, you know why they switched up. Some of you guys born on uh, March 2nd here. But, like, you know why they switched up because you're very tapped in. And it's like you care about this person. You know, you're very loving, but you realize that they want to keep their, their options open because you guys keep going back and forth about the same thing. You know, you can't compromise. You're feeling overwhelmed. 
And it's like you feel like you're overextending with this person. Yeah, so you feel like this person is breadcrumbing you. Like they could definitely put in more effort, more work, but they they don't. Yeah, this person is having an, an issue here with um, just being stubborn, just not compromising. And I see that you've just been trying. You've been resilient with this person. You feel like they've been testing your boundaries and your faith and you're really just giving up. You're trying to move forward. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, could be anybody. I see that you're being celebrated. You're very victorious. You're going to be getting some type of public recognition. You could be a high priestess or you could just do something online or have a social media platform or just be celebrated in some type of way. There's a lot of self-confidence and recognition here. You guys could be traveling as well for a new opportunity. I see large crowds of people cl uh, clapping for you. So this could be some type of award or recognition, like I said here. Okay. What are the other messages for Pisces? You may need to get more rest. Could be working very hard. Wow, a lot of you guys got a new journey here with a man, a new man. Whew. What? Oh man. <laughs> this just turned around real quick. Let me tell you. Wow. Wow. You could be seeing 444 a lot. 4444. Um, hmm. Wow. This is beautiful. Hold on. Let me let me let it sink in. So guys, um, this is a a divine connection here. You got the man with the heart and the woman with the heart. You're gonna find the person that you belong with. Trust me, the struggle will not be that tough. You guys, of course, nobody's perfect, but this is going to be somebody that you're going to be able to rock with. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are going to go on a journey together, um, definitely, and you're going to have a happy family. Some of you guys might have two kids um, with this person, whatever the case may be. You could be taking a family trip to the beach. I see a lot of love here, though. It could be another water sign, a uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But that's a beautiful way to wrap this reading up. I'm so happy and excited for you guys. Um, if you need anything from me at all, the information will be in our description box below. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you on your next video, okay? Peace.